Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to show you guys this project I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, this is sort of a multifaceted project, but this is kind of one side of it with the Arduino. So one of the things, um, you know, we're coming up on fall again. To me, that's a little bit more of electronic season. Uh, fall and winter when you're stuck inside, you can't get outdoors. And I really want to do some more things this year with Arduino. And so to do that, what I want to do is build some test beds to allow me to easily and quickly do those things I want to do. And here they are. So what I've done is I've based these upon Maker Rail, both 2020 and 2040 Maker Rail. And what I've done is now I've shown some of the pieces of this before because this is sort of universal and as I mentioned, part of a little bit bigger project. And I'll disclose some more of those parts in the future episodes. But for this one, I really want to focus on the Arduino stuff. So uh, what I've done is I've, for a number of different reasons, I've developed these what I'm going to call tool carriers or carriers out of this maker rail. So it comes with feet. Now this is a 20, 2040 version. I use some of the magic nuts here. Uh, and number 10 bolts uh, tapped in here to create the feet. And then in this one, I'm using some gripper feet. On this one here, I'm using some felt pads. And I'll have uh, links to all this below and also probably a page on this on the website, which will also be linked. So you don't have to worry about writing anything down. It'll be all in the description. Uh, so you can get this and do a couple different ways. I'm kind of liking these uh, gripper pads a little bit better than the felt pads, um, but it's a little bit of preference. But anyways, my point is, is I wanted to come up with different um, mounting mechanisms for the various um, uh, Arduino modules. Sort of like Legos, not Legos, that's trademark, so I'm not using their name in vain. Um, but uh, what I did is I came up with these. Now this one's a little bit of a remix. I'm going to probably do a little bit different version in the future, but right now this is what's going to be with the quote-unquote kit on Thingiverse, because I've got these out on Thingiverse, so you can go download them free, print them out yourself, great stuff. So I really want to encourage, you know, education uh, in this space of electronics, Arduinos. Man, I tell you, I love this. I'm, I'm, I'm also going to do a Raspberry Pi one soon. Uh, but I wanted to get the Arduino stuff out there because Arduino's ugh, my fave. Anyways, um, so the idea is, is these use just regular number eight uh, bolts uh, which slide into the uh, rail and then I use another set of these magic nuts, uh, a little bit different profile, to clamp them to the rail. And so you see here, I've got the Arduino. I've got it with the uh, prototyping shield, which is really great because a lot of the projects I do, I, you know, I don't get overly into the additional components. A lot of the things I need is feedback loops, LEDs, and things like that. So this is a great size for me to really... Uh, work with. The other pieces I do a lot when I do do things with the Arduino with usually the relay boards it's, and I really have I bought a whole bunch of these um, two relay Saint Smart boards I got them on sale for like buck fifty a piece or something so I bought like a few dozen of them at one time I think um, anyways my point is is these are super super cheap I think even not on sale they're like three bucks or something like that unbelievably cheap and so I can connect the two, come up with my circuit, and then I can go off and do something more permanent, if you will. So this gives me a lot of flexibility to kind of connect the two. Now, I don't want to leave the Nano out of the loop because I've been doing a lot of stuff and I want to do more with the Nano. So what I did is one of the things with the Nano is I love this screw shield um, that you can get. Again, I'll have links to all this so you don't have to worry about going looking for it. One-stop shop. Anyways, uh, again, I can take the uh, Sane Smart, I can mount it on here. I can use the screw leads to connect it to the Sane Smart board or what have you. And the flexibility is just crazy. And the part is when it sits on the, the table, it's going to be like this or your desk. And so it's going to be easy for you to work on because one of the pieces, I, I did a bit of an episode before because I love this mount. But, okay, so this mount sits flat on the table. And, you know, you're, you're sitting, you know, looking at it. Now I happen to be standing up as I do these videos. It's sort of at a standing desk. Uh, but it's at an angle, so you're kind of looking at it like this. I wanted something where I was going to be presented the device straight on. I mean, my eyes are quite a bit older than probably yours. So I wanted to be able to see it, especially the small numbering and lettering and all that kind of junk. Uh, and that's what this does. And so, again, this is going to be, if I hold it perpendicular to the bench, this is roughly what it's going to look like. And so you can easily see everything. Now, what I did to make this easy to print 
uh, because I did come up with these in OpenSCAD, which is really kind of cool making this, these bends. I love OpenSCAD. So um, the other piece I want to point out is I'm using 10 millimeter M3. So this is all M3s. I'll have some links to some uh, sites where you can get M3s, especially if you're in the U.S. They're a little bit more difficult to get than if you're in Europe. Uh, but I love working with the M3, so I kind of standardize most things on there. Uh, with regard to mounting because that's typically the size of the hole. It just makes it easier. And uh, I think I used some 5mm M3s here and some 10s, but I also did a standoff. So I did a 5mm standoff, which gives it the nice amount of thickness to get a nut on with a lot, without a lot hanging over in the back um, with the M3s. And you can really print these. Now, I do print these with supports just to keep the holes nice and centered. You could probably get away with it uh, without supports. But you're not going to have big supports because you're going to print these standoffs separately. And they just slip over the bolt and slip on there. And really, do they look good. And I love this orange. Um, thanks to my Netherlands friends, I just got hooked on orange. Uh, so this is how it comes together. And again, this same way. The two uh, standoffs in here hold the board up away from this. Uh, just number 10, you know, 10 millimeter M3s attach it. And I tell you what. I've had a lot of fun with these guys. Um, I'm actually even thinking about, uh, you know, maybe offering, you know, some of these kits on eBay. Let me know what you think about that uh, for folks that don't have 3D printers. Because, again, this just makes it so much easier to work with um, having, having this kind of head-on as you're sitting at your workbench or whatever, being able to see all the different components. Now, I started with this one, and I wasn't going to go too much further. That's why I sort of uh, did a remix on this. But I think I am going to go a little bit further because I have gone further. I've created this, I've created that, I've created a bunch of other ones too that you'll see later. Uh, that's top secret in other episodes. But anyways, wanted to share this with you guys. It, it's going to be out there. It is out there on Thingiverse. Uh, feel free to go ahead and do a make. If you do a make, uh, Share it on Thingiverse, please. That's the one big thing I ask. Please share it, because when you do a, a make on Thingiverse, what happens is that shares it with other people, and they kind of get the idea how everything goes together and kind of promotes the design, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Uh, so I appreciate it. And um, the other thing is, if you have something that you would like me to maybe create another module for, let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm happy to... Uh, See what I can do. Now, you can leave me comments on Thingiverse. I check Thingiverse a couple times a week uh, for comments. I'm not as good. I keep up on my YouTube channels every day. Uh, but Thingiverse, kind of, you know, a couple times a week. Just, hey, I'm human. I have so much time. So if you're interested in something, really hit me up on, on the channel. Hit me up here, uh, and I'll take a look at it. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys uh, in this episode. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, don't forget, Swag Shop up there. Christmas is coming. A lot of cool maker stuff. I, I can't, uh, I don't know why more people don't check out the Swag Shop. I got a lot of cool stuff out there. Uh, also, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I know a lot of people come to my channel, watch the videos, which is really great. Double thumbs up to you guys. But they're not subscribers. If you subscribe, you get notified of when I do a new video, which is quite frequently. So, and I'm also happy to do videos you're interested in. So, I'll tell you what. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.